Hello everyone, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to do, uh, I got something in, uh, it's a uh, 1-18th scale RC from High Boxing and they asked that I do a review on this so uh, I ordered one, got it in and we're going to you know, check it out right now. Okay, so let's check it out, see what we got. So it's the high boxing rampage, but it's supposed to be the one with one of the buggy bodies on it. There we go. And we're going to need to cut the tape. So this is supposed to come with two little hydro batteries must be in the box because it's not it's not in the Amazon box <laughs> let's check so we've got Instruction manual. Got stickers. And a warranty card. for the back. Got a charger and some pins to hold the body on. It's a USB charger that connects directly to the nickel metal high drive battery. Right. 650 milliamp 7.4 volt and come out a hot drive battery. Remote. Now let's see. Let's check out the remote here. We've got on off trim, slow, normal, steering reverse. Slow, normal. Steering reverse trim. So this will be one, should be able to control with one hand. Interesting. And it looks like it takes four AA batteries. Let's check. That's two. Just fit pretty far down in there. Two AA batteries.
an extra set of pins, so it's four pins for the body. Here's the charger. And we get a screwdriver. It's like a small Phillips head screwdriver, screws, and the spoiler for the rear. Got that. That's a Want to open it up and see the extra batteries inside? Let's pull this off. There we go, and we do have one battery already installed. Of course, it plus this has to be charged. We've got washers over the post for the body. Uh, just foam. We've got a clip here to hold support those washers. Like spring loaded shocks. <laughs> Set these aside before I leave. Spring loaded shocks. The movement's uh, smooth. Tires. Okay, it looks like the Phillips head will work on the screw for the uh, for the wheels, and that's Phillips head for the shock. The arms looks like pretty much everything that I can see. Just initially glancing at it, look like it looks like um, looks like it'll take that Phillips head screwdriver. Let's check that out. Mount points. Let's see, two, three, yeah, we got three screws. So this should go on to, going on to the body, it's going to go on to uh, the back side here. Those three mount points will match up to that. I'll end up having it on here like this. Oh, I get my hand out of the way. I end up having it mounted like that. The arms are plastic. Looks like the drive shaft there may be metal. The center, center drive shaft is metal. Cool. So I'll have to look and see what these two end up connecting to. Actually, that's just mess added in there. So we connect the battery this way, and it's grooved. So these two just fit in here like that. Uh, it's grooved, so you can only turn it one way. So I'll get that uh, spoiler put on and get it, get all that together, get both batteries charged up, and we're going to check it out. Take it outside, give it a run. Thanks for watching. This is um, just kind of the final thoughts on. Uh, Hellstorm 118 scale RC. I ended up getting two. Uh, 
I made the mistake of putting the first one <laughs> into the Gulf of Mexico by accident. Uh, actually, I did it twice. So I ended up uh, the first time getting the water up to about that logo there uh, on the body. And afterwards, it did survive that and continued running. Uh, then, within minutes later, I got it completely submerged in, in salt water. So, once that happened, uh, I basically powered it off and waited for it to dry out. What a what I did was after it dried out, uh, or after at least I thought it had dried out, uh, I plugged the battery back in, powered it back on, the ESC came on, uh, the steering was working fine, uh, but smoke, I shorted something on the motor because a little bit of smoke came out of the motor. So I think the motor is pretty much dead on this. Uh, not sure about the servo, how well it's going to hold up because that was salt water. Uh, you can only wash some of chub it off, so it's going to get down in, kind of down in there and and kind of rust. Um, but anyway, I ended up getting a second one, and before I could finish <laughs> filming some shots with it, I actually jumped that one off a ledge into the Gulf of Mexico, <laughs> and so this one got completely submerged as well, and. Um, I noticed it floats, so uh, water levels about up to that rim on the tires with it holding, hanging upside down like this, uh, floating in the water. Uh, on this one, the headlight still worked even while it was sitting there floating in the water, and uh, the ESC partially worked. Um, I didn't try the motor because last time I didn't fully dry this out and try the motor on this one it ended up smoking so I did not try that on this I'm gonna let it dry out a few more days and um, kinda see see how that holds up uh, keep in mind I did completely submerge both um, high boxing says that they're splash proof not waterproof so in other words don't completely submerge them if you get water splashed on them, uh, it's supposed to be okay, but uh, you can even see the IPX rating there. Uh, anyway, uh, you should be able to get a, a little bit of water touching it a little bit, uh, but you, you definitely shouldn't be submerging it. and It, it just makes it worse that I submerged them both in salt water. Uh, but I did get a little bit of uh, video from each. I uh, put that together at the beginning of this video. And that's something you can take a look at you know, as you'd like to. So at this point, I have two bodies uh, the green, the black. I don't have the orange one. But uh, if I want another one that's never been play, <laughs> placed into water. <laughs> I suppose I could order the orange one. Uh, the tires uh, are okay. Uh, the loose sand that I was in, the tires aren't the best for that. However, um, you can see in the, the little intro video I did that uh, this one was just sliding around okay. Uh, I didn't really have a problem with it. Also, uh, the difference between the, the two that I ordered this comes with a second battery. This does not. However, this comes with the headlights. Also, this comes with a warranty card. Now, you're supposed to be able to get the upgraded shocks, the oil filled shocks, uh, somehow through that. Um, if you have any questions on that, drop a comment below. Uh, I'll look it up. Uh, I just briefly looked at it and saw that the warranty card says one of the options you get with it was the the oil felt shocks. Now how long that'll last I don't know. Um, it may have just been a one time offering uh, or one period of time where they were offering it and um, I may have just gotten gotten in on that. I don't know. But it's worth a shot to take a, 
take a look at and I can probably find you an email address for highboxing for a representative there uh, to to maybe answer that question for you. Uh, the green one was item number 18858. These are recommended for looks like 14 plus years and older. Uh, it's ready to run. They're four wheel drive, 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, the shocks are spring that come with it, so this is you know, just spring-loaded shocks, not oil filled shocks. Um, they do have an option for oil filled shocks, and um, that's a hop up you can get. It's a 380 motor, and they say it runs up to 36 kilometers per hour. Um, I can tell you this one was definitely running fast. I didn't have this one in high speed gear, uh, mode for all. There's a switch on the top. High speed, low speed, or slow speed, normal speed. Um, this one I didn't have <laughs> in high speed for very long. This one I did have a little bit longer and it was running. It was running really good. Um, I was actually really enjoying having this one out. Uh, I'm sure it would have been the same for this had I not submerged it in the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> The only other thing, um, these posts that I would mention, these are our neoprene uh, washers. And I'm sure if you can buy them on Amazon or not by themselves, but uh, I know you can buy a little squares of neoprene. You might could cut some out of that if you happen to have any of those lying around or if you prefer to order those. Um, there's some rests on the post back here, so there's no issue here. But this, there, there are no rests, so there's a pin through each one of these, and on top of that pin, they put these little pieces of neoprene to protect the body. Uh, you know, I would normally wouldn't mind that, except they fall off easily. Um, so just a heads up on that. If you do, if you do get one of these, or you know, Christmas is coming up, you might get one to, as a gift for someone. If you do do that, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how you would replace these. This may be a part that uh, it, that might be sold. I don't really know uh, on that. I haven't really looked this up. But um, if you do have any troubles with uh, the little neoprene pieces, let me know. I'll see if I can find the information for you. And that's pretty much that. Uh, a you know, big question would would you recommend this to someone yeah actually I would um, I was kind of surprised I thought yeah it's a little small 118 skill RC yeah yeah I'll, I'll probably I'll probably fall apart or something yeah no this is actually put together really well um, one of the positive things about it is that it uses which I guess this post to some people a positive and some some people a negative but it uses a Phillips head screwdriver a lot of the screws on this thing so you don't need like specialized tools to take apart most of this uh, you know, Phillips head screwdriver holds the wheel or nut or Phillips head screw holds holds the wheel on uh, it holds you know, maybe you can see it there it holds the power button I suspect a button that we'll see that the ESC was probably somehow held down that way uh, those are held by Phillips head screws. That looks like uh, the posts are held on by that and so on. Um, I'll take this one off real quick just to show you the lighting harness. Because some of you may want to decide do you want an extra battery with what you order or do you actually want to the headlights and and so on so let's take a look at that so there's the wiring harness for the headlights uh, it's just two LED lights that, that fit inside the back of each of these and I didn't I had to get a pair of pliers to get in there to actually get it because it's it's way too small for my fingers um, but it just fits 
you just run her through there and it fits in that secondary port. I didn't have any problems with that even while it was floating upside down. I mean I did a nose, I, I took it off a ledge and did a nose dive straight into the water so uh, I know the LEDs got submerged. Uh, oops, I, I just noticed one of my shocks is broken. Uh, Anyway, uh, the LEDs to get submerged, and basically all of this got submerged. And, um, strangely enough, the power is still working fine when I pulled it out. Apparently, uh, it may, be, it may not be broken, it may just be that it came out. Uh, I was jumping around or something. Oh. Uh, but yeah, uh, these these spring shocks uh, have an oil field upgrade that you can buy. I don't have those, or else I'd show those to you. But that's it. And you can still see that they've got sand still buried up in this one. <laughs> I haven't gotten all of it out yet. Uh, but it should be this one should be dry. But now this one, is, I'm not so sure. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'll let you all know how that turns out. If the motor is fully burned up on this then um, maybe I can recover the ESC off of it and maybe any of the other components and use them on this if this motor still runs after it dries out. We'll see. Uh, overall, I mean I've got to give it to high boxing for a fun little bitty RC. Um, if I wasn't frustrated with myself for for having jumped both of those into uh, <laughs> the salt water, I, I probably would just go ahead and get a third one just to have around the house and uh, to take with me, you know, toss in a backpack, play around with it. But yeah, um, really, I really enjoyed taking these out, uh, shooting some video of those. Unfortunately, both of them went into the water before I could finish getting the video shots that I wanted. Uh, but that's that's the way it goes sometimes. <laughs> Uh, but again, overall, yeah, uh, I would give a thumbs up to uh, high boxing for the Hailstorm model. Uh, anyway, if you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, it helps uh, helps the channel keep going. And um, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Uh, constructive comments definitely always welcome. And uh, those. Because I do read, and I read, try to read all the comments, and um, it, it it helps to have the constructive comments that tells me what I need to change and alter and do, uh, what to do better, what to what to stop doing, that kind of thing. And um, yeah, that feedback I get put, I put back into the channel, so I do appreciate it. Thanks everyone. Uh, again, this is the uh, high boxing hailstorm. I'll put. Uh, some Amazon affiliate links in the description below to those in case you want to want to check those out. And that's about it. And I hope everyone has a good day.